Say hello, hello, and hello again to iPad multitasking. We are so excited to share this major update in Log10 for iPad, which includes new navigational changes to streamline your workflow and provide quicker access to the key features and settings that pilots use most. In this short video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know. But before we check it out, a quick note to let you know that this video will only cover what changed in Log10 on the iPad, and if you want to learn more about what's new in Log10 on your iPhone, click right here or check out the description for some useful links. Okay, chit chat done, now let's dive into the good stuff, starting with the new layout and navigation. Log10 now has a three column layout so that you can see more information at a glance. The two main menu columns here and here will change based on what menu you select in the navigation bar on the left side of the screen. You can hide the main menu at any time by tapping the menu button in the top left corner or by swiping the menu away like this. Of course, you can bring it back instantly by swiping in the opposite direction from the edge of the screen or by hitting the menu button again. Now let's look at the new logbook menu. We've simplified the navigation to bring everything you'll need for logging flights, duties, certificates, running reports, and backing up your data into the logbook section. The flights and duties section contains, well, you guessed it, all of your flights and duties. In the first column, you will see all of your entries as well as the calendar. You can toggle the calendar view on and off like so. The main column at the right will show all of the details for the selected flight. Next, let's look at the new entry button. Pilots wanted this front and center, so no matter where you are in the app, a new entry is one tap away. Using GPS locate buttons, autofill buttons, and logbook defaults make entries even quicker. Check out the links in the description for more information. Next, let's talk about plan and analyze. The plan and analyze menus are the same as before, except now they're quicker and easier to access because they've been separated into their own menus and are always accessible from the main menu. The other menu sections are account, help, and settings. You can also collapse the logbook, account, and help menus by tapping here. And we've saved the best for last, multitasking. Log10 is now fully compatible with all iOS multitasking modes. To keep this as short as possible, I'm gonna show you a few examples of how Log10 changes in the different modes, but I won't go into details on how to use the iOS multitasking gestures. So if you've never used multitasking on your iPad or you need a refresher, click the link in the description to watch Apple's multitasking tutorial. I mean, seriously, this is going to be so useful. If you wanna learn more, you should check out our expansive knowledge base by tapping Help Center, or if you find yourself missing the sultry tones of your voiceover guide to all things Log10, simply tap Video Tutorials. And if you still have questions about the new update or you need help, you can always leave a comment below this video or contact one of our fantastic support Jedi directly from Log10. Just tap Contact Support from the Help menu. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by gently and lovingly tapping the like button. For more Log10 tips and tutorials, do yourself a favor and subscribe. Or click one of these videos to keep watching now. Trust me, it'll be worth your time. As always, thank you for watching.